You feel everything, and I mean everything. The happiness of others, the heartbreak they try to hide, the chaos they think that no one sees, you absorb it all. But here's the truth most people won't say. It's literally breaking you inside. Listen up. You're not just sad. You're exhausted, aren't you? Dragging around pain that's not even yours? Feeling everything and fixing nothing? Do you think it's noble to absorb everyone else's chaos? Well, let me tell you something. It makes you a walking target. And the fact that you're unaware of this, it's killing you. It's killing you. It's, hey, sensitive souls, it's chosen one. Welcome to my empath point of view. Now, I know that this title is heavy, but it's one that we need to talk about. So in today's video, we're diving deep into the hidden dangers of self-neglect and how it's quietly keeping you empaths stuck in a cycle of exhaustion and low self-worth. If you ever felt drained, unheard, or like you're constantly giving without receiving, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how putting others first can deplete your energy and how to break free from this pattern. Get ready to step into your power, reclaim your energy, and start living a life that truly serves you and brings back your happiness. You're literally a magnet for broken people, toxic energy, and emotional vampires. Why? Because you've made it your mission to save everyone but yourself. And the worst part is you don't even see how it's destroying you. This isn't sensitivity. This is self-destruction that you've somehow disguised as compassion. Day in and day out, you find that you're drowning in emotions you can't escape, carrying the weight of other people's problems like it's yours. Newsflash, well, it's not. So stop making excuses. Stop waiting for someone to understand you. No one is coming to save you. You have to be the one to step up, to draw the line and say enough is enough. The world doesn't need another empath turned doormat. It needs you strong, healed, and in control of your own energy. I know you're probably wondering, so why are empaths often amongst the saddest people on earth? Let me tell you why. It's because so many of us are pouring from an empty cup. Living with low self-worth, being used as doormats, and not setting boundaries. And I know, hearing this might feel triggering, but sometimes it takes a hard look in the mirror to see where healing needs to begin. This isn't just about sensitivity. It's drowning in emotions that you cannot escape, and understanding the reality that you've turned into a sponge for everyone else's energy. But the question is, who's ringing you out? Who's protecting your peace? You see, the journey to healing is about self-awareness. And once you start to believe that, you're not just sad because of your own pain, but that you're actually carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, that's when the load starts to lessen. Every unspoken word, every hidden tear, every ounce of suffering around you, it's all yours now. And you're carrying all of that, daily. You just don't notice it, but you live it, and no one gets it. How much longer will you let others drain you, walk all over you, and treat you like you're less than? If you keep choosing to avoid this work, if you keep putting everyone else first without honoring yourself, the cycle will continue. You'll find yourself in relationships that deplete you, feeling exhausted, resentful, and unfulfilled. Emotionally, you keep carrying the weight of others' expectations, never finding the peace or joy that you deserve. Physically, you'll feel the effects of constant stress and fatigue, and spiritually, you'll feel disconnected, lost, and further away from your true purpose. Refusing to set boundaries only keeps you trapped in a loop of self-neglect and low energy. The truth is, you deserve a life that's full, empowering, and aligned with your higher self. But it starts with choosing to protect and honor your own energy. I want you to imagine a sponge. At first it's full, absorbent, ready to clean up whatever mess comes in its way. But what happens when it's wrung out completely, without ever being rinsed or replenished? It dries out, it stiffens, and eventually... It just can't absorb anymore. This is how many of us empaths live our lives, wrung out emotionally, giving and giving without filling back up. And just like that sponge, if you're constantly drained, you lose your ability to show up authentically with love and compassion for yourself and for others. Now, let me be real. If you don't love yourself enough to set boundaries, if you don't value yourself enough to say no, you're giving people permission to treat you however they see fit. And as long as you let that happen, you're going to stay in this cycle of sadness 
and depletion. You and I both know that you deserve better than that. Let's talk about vibrations. Everything around us is energy, our thoughts, our actions, and our intentions. When you're constantly giving without replenishing, then your vibration drops. When your thought process is rooted in self-sacrifice and low self-worth, it keeps you in a lower frequency. But when you choose to honor yourself, to set those necessary boundaries, to say no to what doesn't serve you, that's when your vibration rises. You become aligned with a higher frequency, one where abundance, love, and respect flow naturally. This is also a journey of enlightenment, and one where you must learn to prioritize your own needs and recognizing that self-love isn't selfish. It is the foundation of everything. I'm not saying this will be easy. For empaths, it can feel unnatural to put ourselves first. But ask yourself, how long are you willing to live in sadness, exhaustion, and depletion just to keep others comfortable? How much longer will you let others drain you and treat you like a doormat? This is your moment to level up, to elevate yourself, to shine, to live in your purpose, to lift others up, yes, but only after you've lifted yourself. And that starts with setting boundaries, with honoring your own needs, with filling your own cup. So start today. Set the intention to love yourself enough to protect your energy. Make the choice to shift your thought process and raise your vibrations. You have the power to end this cycle. And you deserve a life of joy, not sorrow. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Fill yours first. Heal, love, and embrace your true worth because you deserve to live fully, not as someone's emotional sponge. This is your moment to break free, to elevate, and to finally honor your own needs. Set the intention today to love yourself enough to fill your cup before pouring into others. You see, the truth is, when you start prioritizing yourself, you not only transform your life, but you elevate everyone around you. No more living in the shadows of your past or depleting yourself to please others. It's time to step into your full power, to set boundaries that honor your energy, and to create the life you've always deserved. Don't let this moment slip by. Do the work, heal, and watch how your entire world shifts. You're not just surviving, you're meant to thrive. So stay tuned, because this is only the beginning of the journey. Let this day be the day that you begin to reclaim your power. Understand that this just isn't about surviving. It's about evolving as well. Imagine a river, powerful, flowing, nourishing everything around it. But if it's blocked, if the water grows stagnant, it stops giving life. It becomes murky and trapped. That's you right now, blocked, weighed down by a lack mindset, by everyone else's energy, and by the stories you've told yourself for too long that keep you stuck in this sad cycle. Your higher self is calling you to break through, to flow again, to level up. This darkness isn't here to drown you. It's here to show you where you need to grow. So stop letting others' chaos block your light. Let the intuition you've been ignoring guide you out of this stagnant energy and back into your flow. You see, the world around you needs your light. But first, you need it. So become the river, unblocked and unstoppable. Rise above, evolve, and nourish yourself so deeply that you light up everything in your path. This is your call to be what you're meant to be. The light that flows in any darkness. It's time. As always, I thank you for being here, and I thank you for listening.